Welcome to part 6 in the Leathercraft series. This one focuses on edge finishing. Let's get started. So an important step in the process is to finish your edges properly. With veg tan leather that tends to be done with a process called burnishing. This is basically just using a, a rounded tool to create some friction on the edges and heat them up and that seals the edge which will protect it from you know dirt and it'll give it a little bit of water resistance which will altogether make the product last a lot longer. Okay, so the tools that I use at this stage will be uh, a burnishing tool. If you're burnishing things by hand, this is the type of tool that's generally used, but you can use anything that has a round edge on it, literally pencils and things like that as well. I'll use an edge beveler. So this just takes the material off of the corners to help round them out slightly. This one has interchangeable heads so that I can use different sizes. Uh, I'll use dye again here, just for touching up the edges. And I'll use some beeswax as well. So the first step in this process is just to use that edge beveler to put a slight chamfer on the edges. That'll make rounding them off a little bit easier. This beveling will take off some of the dyed parts of the leather, as well as the trimming that we did in the last step as well. So this is a good chance here just to go over these edges again with the dye. Okay, so once that's dry, I'll then wet the edges just with some water. I use a wool dauber here, but you can use anything. You can even just use your finger. And I'll take my burnishing tool here and I'll just start to generate some of that friction that we're talking about, just rubbing it back and forward. And after a while, that just gets them looking nice and slick. And then once I'm happy with that, I'll put some beeswax on there. And and I'll do the same again, going over with the burnishing tool. The beeswax just adds a, an extra layer of protection. Okay, so once those edges are burnished, the last thing that we need to do is just to put a finish on the rest of the product. So that's what I'll go over next week. I'll talk about some of the finishes I use and just some general aftercare tips as well. Thanks for the support on the series so far. I'm enjoying getting some feedback from people. Stay tuned, I'll, I'll see you next week. I don't know if I've got... Uh, I have no idea. That's 11 minutes 45 seconds of nonsense. Right.